Update 2 on Truck with the Prussian Grace, which continues to move westward south of Haiti. Located at 17.7 degrees north, 72.4 degrees west as we head into 10 p.m. at Les Cays or in Eastern Time in general. We have it at winds with 35 miles an hour, a pressure of 1,007 millibars. It's moving to the west-northwest at about 13 miles an hour, and we currently have it as a CDPS Stage 3. Uh, of course, we're going to be breaking that, that in a hot second. Uh, looking at that CDPS, this is for Cancun on Thursday morning, and it looks like the rainfall is going to be the significant threat with this one, up to 8 inches possible. The wind speed and storm size are moderate with this one. Stage 3 means considerable on that cyclone destruction potential scale there. Moving on over to where it is on the map, there is no wind field given the fact that this currently does not have tropical storm force winds. Although of course that is likely to change over the next 20, 12 to 24 hours of course. Uh, so we'll be watching that as we continue. Here are the tropical storm warnings and watches. Those are going to be located at the bottom of your screen but regardless it is 32 miles away from Las Cays. 218 miles away from Kingston, 542 from Cienfuegos, 1083 from Merida, and 1618 from Tampico. That is 52 kilometers away from Las Cays, 351 kilometers from Kingston, Jamaica, uh, 873 from Cienfuegos in Cuba, uh, 1743 from Merida, and 2604 from Tampico. Uh, of course, those distances are going to get closer as we continue. Of course, Las Cays is the nearest city at the moment. We have it at 35 miles an hour in agreement with National Hurricane Center, ATMS and AMSU have it at 45, SACON has it at 50, and ADT is going overly aggressive with 70 miles an hour for Grace at the moment. Here's the latest cone, uh, we do have it going a little bit higher than National Hurricane Center, an 85 mile an hour peak uh, in the Gulf of Mexico before it makes landfall just north of Tampico. Although not explicitly shown, we do have it becoming a category 1 before it makes landfall in the Yucatan Peninsula, 75 mile an hour peak forecasted with that one. So regardless, this is going to be an evolving forecast. Uh, there are some things that we're trying to kink out with that one, so we'll see what is going to go on with that one. Of course, we will continue to keep you updated on that situation. Here are the sea surface temperatures at the moment. They're around 28 to 29 degrees Celsius at just under the storm. As it heads into the Gulf of Mexico, it's going to be tapping into those 30 degrees Celsius temperatures. Some 30 degree splotches near the Yucatan Peninsula where this will be tracking as well. So very favorable sea surface temperature there. Here's the HWRF wind guidance. Of course, they are going much, much more aggressive on this, predicting a Category 4. I would not take this into consideration considering the fact that they do have it going much north than what we are going with. So rainfall amounts are likely going to be around 48 inches across much of the Yucatan and Mexico. Uh, the latest intensity guidance pretty much keeps it a minimal category 1, although of course you still see some of those that take it up further than that. Wind shear is going to be around 10 to 20 knots for much of its life, a little bit of an uptrend compared to what we were seeing. Uh, most of that's going to be in the mid-level. Sea surface temperature is going to be remaining 28 to 30 degrees Celsius, and relative humidity is not going to be the most conducive until we head into the point where it makes landfall. By then it will likely be too late. And here we are looking at the satellite imagery. It's getting itself better organized as it continues to move south of Haiti. At first it was looking like it was going to make landfall, however it has since avoided that and that is why it is now looking more and more likely that we could be seeing a stronger storm than initially expected with this one. Uh, of course this is going to be a interesting situation to monitor. It's still got land as an obstacle to deal with. How it interacts with that will determine the future of this, of course, as well as the mid-level shear we will be dealing with. Uh, good organization that we got regardless with the convective activity there. We will keep you monitored and of course we will be going live in the days to come to cover this storm.